Hello there, welcome to today's video. It's going to be super quick and simple. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to create a multi-line text field. And you might be wondering why exactly is there a layout builder here? It's just in case you wanted to make a text field be at least half the size of the screen or something like that. And since this is such a short video, I just decided to add this just as a little detail to help you out. So basically all we have is a layout builder and a sized box. And this could also be an expanded widget. It's important to wrap the text field with a parent that will give it the space that you want it to occupy. That's basically what it is. So let's just go ahead and give it a child. And that child is, of course, the text field. Now, on the text field, you have these options, of course. And the option you're looking for is expands. This is pretty much how you make it expand. However, if I save this now, it's going to crash. And that's because if expand is true, you must make max lines null. If you don't make it null, this will not work. All you gotta do is hit save now, and it's literally already there. You can see a little cursor there, like it's it's here. The thing is, we haven't used the layout builder yet, so this is pretty much a text field occupying the whole screen, but let's change that. Let's give this a height and access the constraints variable that comes with the layout builder right here and do dot max height and just split it by two and now I'm gonna hit save and it's gonna be over here. And right now you can literally just come over here and I'll just write it myself, type it out actually. You know, you can just type out whatever the hell you want. And as you can see, it is in fact a multi-line text field. And to prove it, let me just go ahead and do this right now. And let me remove this and hit the save button. And now everything that I just wrote I just typed rather is in just one line but if we go back to this system of course it becomes multi multi line as well and you know if you want it to be if you want to make it just one fourth of the screen height then you just do this for example you know pretty self-explanatory I just want you to understand that the height that you define is pretty much the height that the text field will have and if instead of the sized box you want to try out the expanded widget that would also work in this case, it will occupy the whole thing because, as you know, the expanded widget does not have a height property, so it pretty much just expands as much as possible. But if you save it like this, it's going to crash, and that's because, you know, you can't have a layout builder as the parent of the expanded. So let me, let's just put this in the column, for example, and hit the save button. And now, like it was in the beginning, the text field is occupying the whole thing. So this is are just, you know, a couple examples, but what really matters here is the expense property being true and the max lines property being null. Once you do this, your text field will automatically be a multi-line text field and it will encourage your users to write down more than they usually would with just a single line. So if that's what you needed, that's what you got here. I hope this was able to help you. If it did, please leave me a like on this video. It always helps. And if you want to keep on learning more about Flutter and you're a beginner, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Flutter Mentor and out.